Hi guys, welcome back to X and Yong channel. In this video, we are going to revisit some of the top dividend stocks in Singapore. Almost one year ago, I posted a video with the topic Top 10 High Dividend Yield Stocks in Singapore 2020. The three main local banks, DBS, UOB and OCBC are among the top 10 best dividend stocks. Let's do a quick recap. The dividend yield as per June 2020 for UOB was 3.59%. DBS was 3.06% and OCBC was 3.05%. Overall, the dividend of Singapore banks is still above 3% despite the COVID year and the challenges of reducing interest rate last year. Fun fact, these three local banks comprise to 40% of the Singapore Street Time Index, STI, which has a market cap of $517 billion, while DBS make up of 18% of STI with market cap of $67 billion, OCBC make up of 12% of STI with market cap of 50 billion and UOB make up of 10% of STI with market cap of 43 billion. So if you only invest in these three local bank stocks, your stake in the STI is already approximately 40%. Fast forward, after one year, UOB has paid out dividends at 39 cents per share in October 2020 and the upcoming dividend of another 39 cents per share will be payable on 25th of June. UOB pay dividend on a semi-annually basis. Hence, the annual dividend for UOB is a total of 78 cents. Based on the current share price of $25.84, the updated annual dividend yield is about 3.02% which is slightly lower compared to the previous year yield of 3.59%. Now, let's take a look at DBS stock. It pays out dividend every quarterly. It pays a dividend of $0.18 cent per share in October and December 2020, and the upcoming dividend will be payable on 25th of June 2021. This makes up the annual dividend of $0.72. Cent. Over is current share price of $29.77. The dividend yield is 2.42%. This is also lower compared to the previous year yield of 3.06%. What about OCBC stock? The payment frequency is same as UOB, two times a year. The latest dividend payout was $0.159 cents in October 2020 and the upcoming dividend will be payable on 29 of June 2021. This makes up the annual dividend of $0.318 cents over its current share price of $12.05. The latest dividend yield will be at 2.64%, lower compared to the previous year yield of 3.05%. In short, Singapore banks did pay a lower dividend yield this year compared to one year ago. However, the lower yield is also because of the higher share price. Don't forget the return on investment is made up of two components, which are the dividend yield and the capital gain. If we compare the 12-month trailing price change among the three bank stocks, DBS price has increased the most by 35% from $22.10 last year in July to now the price is $29.77. Followed by OCBC stock price was up by 29% from $9.35 last year in July to now the price at $12.05. And then UOB was up by 22% from last year $21.25 to now the current price is $25.84. Well, this makes DBS stocks stand out the most as the best performing stocks for investors who put in the money to invest one year ago. This is because of the higher capital gain due to the stock price increase the most. Despite its dividend yield seems to be lower compared to OCBC and UOB. Nevertheless, do note that this capital gain is only realized when you sell the stocks. So, if you are a long-term investor that would like to hold the stock for several years or up to retirement, UOB dividend yield stand out to be the most attractive at 3.02% compared to the other two local banks. Again, Historical yield does not guarantee the future yield. 
Please do your own due diligence to understand the bank performance and how the macroeconomy could affect the future outlook of the banks. If you are interested to open a brokerage account, I have done a review on Tiger Broker which currently has the offer to give up free stock to new investors that open and deposit $2,000 initial deposit. I have put the invitation link in the description box below. Do check it out if you would like to know more. Thank you for watching our weekly video on personal finance, stocks and property investment. Do smash the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm and to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you again in the next one.